Good morning all. Today I'm going to take a look at this. It's a laser distance meter. In other words, it's a laser tape measure. So a quick unboxing. Well, let's just have a look actually on the cover. Um, there are four different types, a 40 meter, a 60 meter, an 80 meter and a 100 meter. This is uh, apparently the 80 meter. So there's the tape measure itself. We also have instructions a little pouch, a lanyard, and some batteries. Well, that's handy. Let's fire it up. So this takes two AAA cells. Let's put those in. So let's take a quick look at the uh, outside of this unit. Uh, we've got an LCD display here and some buttons. Here is a little uh, spirit level and uh, on the back there is a tripod thread, so you can mount this on a tripod. Now the business end is the most interesting. This is the hole uh, where the laser beam comes out. It looks like it's marked as a class two. And then this lens here is obviously what receives the beam back. And inside there, you can just about make out uh, a square thing. But interestingly, that's seeing my mat. So is that transparent? It might be a reflection off the front of my camera actually, but there's some sort of sensor in there. So is that a CMOS or a CCD camera type sensor? It's hard to say. So to switch it on, we press the measure button. Let's do that. Okay. Now uh, there's a little symbol here which shows where it's measuring from and a button down the bottom here. So you can set it to measure from the back of the unit if you're measuring the inside of something, or you can set it to measure from the front of the unit if you're outside of a box or something, I suppose, or you can get it to measure from the middle of the unit. I'm not quite sure where that would be, probably from this red bar. So if I press the unit button, we can go from meters, inches, uh, feet and inches, feet, and back to meters again. There was a fifth one there. What was that? Oh, it just takes out the decimal point. So it's for larger amounts of inches, I guess. Now this symbol up here, that bar, means that we're measuring a single distance. If I press this button, we can measure area. So you'd measure the long edge and then uh, you'd measure the short edge. And it can also measure volume. You can see it's drawn a little cube there and then back to single linear measurements. So, well, let's take a measurement. Now this unit works by shining a laser beam. You can see the laser dot there. In fact, it's more of a uh, sort of um, round cornered rectangle. And if I put it at an angle, you can see uh, the full extent of it, but I can't see any obvious pattern in there. So I don't really know how this thing works. So I've set up this uh, little test setup in my workshop. There's a little square of uh, skirting board up at the end there. A one meter rule, which admittedly came from the pound shop, but it looks fairly accurate. And the laser tape measure here. And I'm going to measure an exactly one meter distance from the front of the unit and see what the display says. So I'm at exactly 100 centimeters from the front of the unit. My measurement will be taken relative to the front of the unit, that symbol there. Let's try it. The laser dot has come on. Let's press it again. And we've got 1.008. So it's eight millimeters out. Ah, I've just realized that this ruler actually goes up to one meter and one meter and five millimeters. So I need to move that forward to that point. Okay, let's take another measurement. Now, when you take the measurements, they simply scroll up the screen so you can keep the previous measurements. Well, that's better. That's 1.004, but it's still four millimeters out. So let's move it four millimeters forward and take another measurement. And that's giving me exactly one meter. Let's move it two millimeters back, take another measurement. Now that's also giving me a meter. So you can move it very small amounts and it doesn't seem to be incredibly accurate. Let's look at what the manual says. 
Well, in the specifications here, it says that it's uh, accurate to plus or minus two millimeters, which is a four millimeter span of inaccuracy. So I'm kind of concurring with that. Now, it's interesting that it doesn't say over what distance that is. So are we to assume that it doesn't really matter? I mean, is it accurate to two millimeters over the full 80 meters? If it is, that would be quite impressive. Okay, let's try this over a longer distance. I've now got a five meter tape measure and that's going all the way up to the door over there. Now I've got to be a bit careful here because if the laser beam touches this upper part, that's actually about four or five millimeters further back. So we uh, may expect to see about uh, five extra millimeters on the measurement. So that's lined up exactly at five meters. Let's take a measurement, make sure the beam hits the right part of the wall. And ah, now it's actually uh, recording from the back of the unit. So let's change that. I think it resets to that every time you switch it on. So another measurement, 5.003, 5.003, if you can see that. Um, well, that's pretty impressive because that's five meters and three millimeters for the additional distance at the end of the tape measure. I mean, that's accurate to within one millimeter. That's amazing. Okay, I'm back in my workshop now. Now, if you press and hold, you can go into min max mode and it just beeps constantly, but it will take minimum and maximum measurements. So as I move forward, the minimum number drops down. So it's getting a minimum of 977 and as I move backwards the maximum number will go up so it will give you a uh, minimum and maximum if you're getting moving numbers which I think is quite neat it's a bit noisy in that mode though now what about area measurements this one here where you take a width and a height and then it actually calculates the um, the total area well, the other day I went to an empty commercial building and took some measurements there. Let's have a look at those. So what I'd like to do now is uh, measure the area of this section of the room up to this um, dividing section here. So I'm going to measure the length off that wall and then measure the width across the room. Let's try that. So first let's put it in the area mode. So that's that. Now it's telling me to measure the long edge. So let's measure. So that's come up as 6.376. Now let's switch to the other wall and measure the short edge, although this might actually be the long edge, I'm not sure. That's come as 6.738, giving a total area of 42.961 meters squared. Now can I change the units of that? No, it seems that you can't change it after you've done a measurement, which is a bit of a shame, really. So it looks like if I want an area in feet, square feet, I've got to measure the first distance in feet, which is 20.95. Switch to the other wall, measure the other dimension in feet, 22.23, and we have a total size of, or area, of 465.7 square feet and once again changing the unit you can't actually convert directly from one set of units to another and I think that's a real shame. So let's test this at a slightly greater range. We have an empty commercial premises here so I'm going to test it from uh, one end of this place right to the other and see what we get. So I'm going to go off the uh, edge of this shelf. I can't go off the wall because I can't see the screen and then it's all the way down to the end there. So let's take a measurement. And it's 14.096. The number at the bottom, 14.096 meters. So now I'm going to do a measurement down this very long uh, corridor here. Let me just see if I can see the laser beam first. Yes, I can. If I take it right down to that room at the end, uh, it can still see the uh, red dot. So let's try and do a measurement of that. So let's go for the measurement. 
and we've got 17.845. Now I know it's longer than that, so I'm obviously not pointing it quite in the right direction. So let's try it again, which is down there. And that's 21.213. So that's the longest measurement I can take in this building. That's the longest distance I've got away, 21 meters. So let's do this um, long distance measurement in feet for those people for whom feet means more. So it's that one there. And that's 69.57 feet. So that's about as far as I can measure in this building. Now those longer distance measurements were all done in a fairly dark building, but what about um, outside when the sun's shining? Well, it's pretty sunny out there now, so let's give this a try in the garden. So I've lent this piece of white plastic against the shed. Now it's got a glossy coating on it. Um, it's actually quite shiny. I don't know whether we can see that. Yeah, you can see a reflection in it. Um, so let's try it from a couple of meters. Okay, can I see the dot? Yeah, so that's given me 1.791 meters. So now let's move a lot further back. Now there's quite a bit of sun on the shed. Oh, I can see the laser dot. And I did get a measurement, 10.158. Let's go further still. Try this. Can I actually see the laser dot? I can't really see what I'm doing. Can't see the laser dot at the moment. Well, I can't see the laser dot from this distance, and it seems that uh, the machine can't either. I'm getting error one. And uh, error one is signal is too weak. Choose the surface with stronger reflectance or use the reflecting plate. I think I might try using a tripod actually. Well, that's amazing. It's actually getting a measurement of 19.4 meters, but I can't see the laser dot at all. Perhaps I need my glasses. Well, now the laser dot is on that triangle of white plastic. I'm not sure if this will show up on the video. It's kind of about a third the way up. But this unit can see it without any difficulty. And it's measuring 19.27 meters. It's really extraordinary. And uh, finally, here's the laser measure perched on a tripod on my dustbin. It's firing at that white triangle again, leaning against the shed. It's a long way away. I can just see the laser dot with the naked eye, although I can't see it on the screen of my camera here. But it is getting a reading 28.695 meters. I think that's absolutely remarkable that it can see that dot in this bright sunlight at such a distance. It's extraordinary. So I didn't get around to doing uh, volume measurements, which you can also do. But you can also do this, Pythagoras, where you can measure the hypotenuse and get angles and all that sort of amazingly complicated stuff. But I think I'm just going to have to leave that because I think that might just fry my brain. So this uh, laser distance meter came from uh, Gearbest. And this is the 80 meter model. It's uh, priced at $40.17. You can though see the 40 meter model here, which is priced at $32.29. And I will put links to this item in the description.